Oh, here's something kind of fun. I made a super high speed electrostatic motor by changing the rotor from uh, that cup to one of my famous plastic lids. And this is what I've made a lot of motors out of. It's just a jar lid. And uh, usually there's magnets on the edge here. But on this one, I just put the foil tape. And uh, it's got a needle that uh, sits on a magnet at the top and then is attracted to a magnet at the bottom but not touching. And then I've got that uh, situation there with a little foil brush, aluminum foil, and then one on the other side there. And uh, it's just suspended by the needle at the top of that magnet. And then I've got one of these uh, negative ion generators and uh, then a 9 volt battery. And the first time I saw this was OU Brads uh, showed this on his uh, video. Uh, he used a ping pong ball. But this lid uh, worked out really good. I've got eight segments on the lid rotor. I've got a radio here so you can hear it rev up. Let's get her going here. I'll just attach the 9 volt battery. Makes a lot of static noise. The frame rate of the camera should show this winding up, hopefully. As that picks up a charge on that rotor, this just gets faster and faster until the air resistance and the friction at the needle point at that magnet equalizes everything. But uh, this Coulomb effect uh, really is amazing how fast you can get a rotor spinning with that attraction repulsion of um, a charge. Take the radio away so you can hear what it sounds like. It chatters. There's a uh, friction going on right there at the top of that rotor. And then, of course, air friction is slowing it down. Let me disconnect it here. Watch it spin down. Here again, the camera should frame rate should pick up this... Uh, unwinding itself here. Goes for a long time. That's just inertia energy bleeding off. And I tried this without the plastic lid with just some tape and stuff and it worked but you need this flywheel effect really to make this thing work and then of course the plastic lid uh, is part of the capacitor kind of thing so uh, it's pretty interesting to watch these uh, electrostatic motors uh, rev up uh, as they pick up the charge it just gets going faster and faster I put a little electronic tack on this I was only showing 3000 RPM so it, it looks faster than it really is, sounds faster, but uh, it was a lot of fun working with it. The uh, forces working on this uh, to slow it down, of course, are uh, air friction and the friction right there at the needle touching that magnet. And that's what it slows down. Now, if this was in a perfect environment, um, this, of course, would just keep right on going. But uh, it's not. <laughs> you would need a vacuum, and you would need uh, a frictionless, completely frictionless bearings with no other forces working on this.
So anyway, they, they, anyway that's my little electrostatic motor uh, made out of a, um, a jar lid. And that's all that is, is a jar lid with uh, foil tape on it and a needle. Electrostatic generator, you get them on eBay, very inexpensive, 9 volt rechargeable battery, and this little structure here. Thanks for watching.